but nobody never complained about the devil. They don't complain about the devil's conduct, his words, what he says, or how he says, or to whom he say it to. But whenever you take a stand for the word of God, the world complains. I want to encourage all of my brothers be rough and wise with scripture. The scripture says it this way, harmless as a dove, but wise as a serpent. A serpent is rough. Once he wrapped himself around you, He's rough, a dove, harmless. Well, that's the way we are with the Bible. Preachers, viewers, millionaires, religious people, God did not send us at all to play or appease the human family. Anyone that warns anybody of any form of judgment, their objective is not to tickle your ears. No warning have ever come to a people of any class to tickle their ears. A warning comes to get your attention get your attention for your safety because there's something coming amen that's what my job is that's what my calling is that's my job description the war in the world. To let the world know that God is not far from bringing everything to an end. And I mean everything. Every stage of the progress of the truth of God, I have to refer back to the vision because there is no stage of the truth of God that I haven't seen before I met you. I saw the mass choir before I known anybody was, that's on the mass choir. I told Williams about the mass choir. I told my wife about a mass choir. I told different ones about the mass choir, churches. And I will have soldiers as ministers. And I will also have once in a while Judases as ministers. I can't just tell you the good, I have to tell you the bad because the Lord didn't just show me the good. He showed me the bad. The truth of God ministry is not my ministry. In other words, it don't belong to me. It is the work of the Lord designed to prepare man for God's arrival. So everyone in the world, including the church, understand this. The Bible is for everybody. The word of God that is written here is for the whole world. That's
that's why the apostles was instructed go ye into all the world all of it and preach the gospel to who every creature this is not an American church this is not a Caribbean church this is not a European church this is the church by the Lord Jesus Christ I say this because many cultures stick together Americans some of them stick together and complain when they don't like something that's not to their American taste that's right. That's right. some Africans stick together when they don't like something to their African taste some Caribbeans stick together when they don't like something according to the Caribbean taste this is why it takes the Lord to make a preacher he's not interested in where you come from catering to culture we have to come from God's direction If the word of God cannot be preached, hear me good, viewers, without integrating your culture, you're not preaching according to spirit or truth. Culture have nothing to do with heaven. Are you listening? Is that Bible? Paul said we have no such custom. And he was a Jew. But he refused to mix tradition with revelation because we have Holy Ghost tradition. There's Holy Ghost tradition and there's tradition according to culture. Are you listening? So a lot of men preach according to their culture. And when you preach or teach according to your culture, you're not preaching or teaching according to spirit. Because the spirit of God is of nobody culture. Are you getting me? See, the spirit of God comes to the European to the American, to the African, to the Caribbean, to the Alaskan, to the Japanese and Chinese and Asian. The scriptures is not looking at your culture. God don't send a man to present you culture. He sent a man to present you Jesus. And him crucified. Are you listening? Because if you hang on culture, you will error like Peter. Give me the second chapter of the book of Galatia. The apostle Peter was trying to force one group to be like another group according to tradition custom culture I want everybody to get this I, I certainly this was the furthest thing from my mind but I have to follow the sound of the spirit of God because churches have a tendency to frown I'm talking about in the body of Christ Jamaica is not to try to be like America. America 
is not supposed to try to be like Africa. Africa is not supposed to try to be like Europe. Everybody supposed to be like Jesus. When you lose sight on scripture, you get caught up in culture where you come from and that will be overbearing and it will blind you to scripture. So you have to take culture and put it on the back burner. When you put culture in front of God, you transgress scripture because you're looking at yourself above God. When it comes to Bible, I'm no American. Did you hear what I said? When it comes to Bible, I'm no American. When it comes to Bible, I'm a preacher of righteousness. Are you listening? If I get caught up in culture, then I will be a traditionalist. Afraid to offend others and become part of their tradition. If you follow the scriptures, you will not get caught up in culture or tradition because the apostles never used such when preaching the gospel. Are you listening? Listen. In the book of Galatians, chapter 2. And we'll start reading at verse 9. What is it? And when James, Cephas, and John, who seem to be pillars. When James, Cephas, which is Peter. And John. And John. Who seem to be pillars. Who seem to be pillars, meaning. Perceived. Who's here, here. Mm -hmm. Who seem to be pillars, which means they seem to be steadfast. Steadfast in what they were preaching. What happened? Perceive the grace that was given unto me. Yes. They gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship. They gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship. That showing they were in agreement with what Brother Paul was preaching. Mm -hmm. That we should go unto the heathen. Now hear this. We should go to the heathen. And they unto the circumcision. And they to the circumcision. Only they would that we should remember the poor. Yes. The same which I also was forward to do. All right. But when Peter was come to Antioch. Listen at this. Give chapter and verse. Galatians chapter 2. Now we're at verse 11. When Peter was come to Antioch. Came to Antioch. I withstood him to the face. I challenged him. I didn't go behind his back. I went directly to him. When Peter was come to Antioch, came to Antioch, I withstood him to the face. I withstood him to the face. One apostle to another apostle. Did you hear this? But when Peter was come to Antioch, what happened? I withstood him to the face. And what? Because, because he was to be blamed. He was wrong. What was the problem? For before that certain came from James. Here's what's the problem. Before that certain came from James. He did eat with the Gentiles. He ate with Gentiles. He ate with uncircumcised. But and according to the culture of the Jews, you don't mingle outside of the Jewish community. There's a separation. But see, the Lord already have implemented law. One new man, one, new man. one people. And circumcision won't be of the flesh, but it'll be of the heart. Peter, the Jew, was still holding to tradition. 
Listen. But when Peter was come to Antioch, when I would Peter stood him came to the face. To Antioch, I would stood him to the face. Because he was to be blamed. He was to be blamed. For before that certain came from James. Before certain came from James. He did eat with the Gentiles. He ate with Gentiles. But when they were come, when they, who were the they? Jews. When they were come, he withdrew and separated himself. Why? Fearing them which were of the circumcision. Yes. Here's an apostle. Fearing what others would say about what he was doing. And looking at the people coming, he withdrew himself. Withdrew. Let me make it plainer. If I'm eating with white brothers and sisters, and a group of black brothers and sisters come around, and then I fear what the black brothers and sisters are going to say, and because of that, I withdraw myself from my white brothers and sisters. Fearing how they're going to act, how they're going to respond, how they're going to feel. Then I'm the blame. Why am I the blame? Because I'm not doing what I preach. Are you listening? So the Lord's church is not built on culture, it's built on scripture. Are you listening? In a convention like this, with all these different backgrounds of brothers and sisters and from different places, no one should try to cater to their own group. Everyone must cater to scripture. In churches of today, Somebody commented who looked at the telecast and they said, wow, you got a lot of blacks, but a few white. The truth of the matter is, I don't have nobody. That God, all I am is a fisherman sent to preach the gospel and I'm not responsible for what God bring to the net. But what I'm going to do with God's help is keep fishing. The color of the skin does not determine the value of the fish. It is obedience to God that determines the value of the fish. My job, fish. Didn't he say so? I'll make you fishes of men. That's my job, fish. And then once we catch you with the word of God, we have to head off, split, and scale you. What is scaling? You have to remove that which is unwholesome. It's my job to scale with scripture. Some scales on people are rougher than others. Even in the natural, depending upon the fish, some scales are thick, heavy, very heavy. Sometimes men have to wear goggles to scale some fish because the scales can get in your eyes like cataracts. And immediately they fell from his eyes. Listen! Acts chapter 9 and verse 18. The Bible said in the Acts 9, 18, immediately they fell from his eyes. They fell from his eyes. As it had as been. As it had been. Scales. 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 Hallelujah. Everybody in here had scales on the eyes. Glory right. to God. And some of us still have scales on the, on the eyes. That's why eye salves is needed. Glory right. to God, when your eyes come open, your understanding will come open. 
when God opened up your eyes thank God is one of the greatest days of your life when you're able to see able to understand glory to God able to comprehend so culture does not dictate first church of the Lord Jesus Christ I want all of my viewers to understand this. It doesn't, mind, it doesn't matter how many brown or yellow or blacks you see. There are many thousands you don't see. I mean many thousands that you don't see. Amen. That's in the truth of God. And that's the whitest of the white and darkest of the dark. Amen. So the church is not built on race or color or culture. We are built on Bible. I must stay within the confines of the Bible. Whatever the Bible says is good enough for me. And if I want to be right, it's going to have to be good enough for you. Who pathogen is everybody. All right, let's go to work. That In the uh, second chapter of the book of Isaiah. Follow me in the Bible. Amen. The Amen. Bible let us know, except the Lord build the house, you labor in vain, that building. Build the Lord is building his church. That's right. And in order to build his church, he built his church according to his word. That's right. Now, as I often said, the building is not the church. Not at all. The church is them that have repented of their sins, been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That puts you in the church. Otherwise in that, you're just in the building waiting to be placed in the church. Now, you want to make sure you're in the church. Whether you're a preacher, bishop, elder, so-called minister, evangelist, I don't care what you call yourself, you have to make sure you're in God's church, and if you don't believe in speaking in tongue, you're not in the church. The Bible says you're baptized. For by one spirit. Listen at this. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 13. By one spirit. Are we all baptized? Uh, wait, 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 wait. How many? For by one spirit. Are we all baptized? We all are baptized. Into one body. Now everybody got to get in God's church the same way. Whether we be Jews. Whether you are Jew. Or Gentiles. Do you hear that? That's right. Do you hear this, viewers? Are you that are here? For by one Listen spirit. Listen at the Bible. First Corinthians 12 and verse 13. What is it? For by one spirit. By one spirit. Are we all baptized? By one Holy Ghost. That's right. By one God. By one king of righteousness. By one spirit. By one king of peace. That's right. Who have no beginning of days or no end of life. By one. By one because spirit. Because there's only one king of righteousness. That's right. You don't have two kings of righteousness. No. No. Oh, no. You only have one king of righteousness. King of righteousness means you are king of what's right. That's right. And you can't be no more right than that king. That's right. Him of yours, God is the king of, righteousness, king of righteousness, meaning you cannot be no more right than him. That's right. Do you hear what I'm telling you? That's right. To be the king of righteousness, you cannot be no more right than him. Right. He is the superior of all righteousness. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? First Corinthians 12 and verse 13. Glory to God. I hope you can get this. For by one spirit. By one spirit. Are we all baptized? Hallelujah to God. Into one body. It takes the king of righteousness to put us in the church. That's right. It takes the king of everything that's right to put us in the church. That's right. Are you listening? For by one spirit. Listen, all I can do is be righteous and be holy. All you can do is be righteous and be holy. But there's not a king of righteous sitting up here. No. There's only one. 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 King of righteousness. 
He's higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. Come on, son. First Corinthians 12 and verse 13. What is it? For by one spirit. By one spirit. Are we all baptized we all into one baptized body? Baptized into one body. Whether we be Jews. Whether we be Jews. Or Gentiles. You see, it doesn't matter what type of uh, ethnic group you are, right. whether you are Jew or Gentile. I have Jewish brothers that's in the body of Christ. That's right. Amen. Raise a Jew. I mean born a Jew. And speak Hebrew fluently. Amen. I was talking to some of the Jewish brothers when I went to Minneapolis, Minnesota. He said, Pastor Jennings, you, you, you don't know me. I'm one of the new brothers. Amen. I'm a Jewish brother. He said, I heard the word of God and repented of my sins and went down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Amen. He was a Jew talking to a Jew. Amen. Hmm? Amen. He was a Jew outwardly, but now he got to be a Jew inwardly. Inwardly. Glory to God. He was an outward Jew talking to an inward Jew. Okay. One was circumcised of the flesh and the other was circumcised of the heart. He said, pray for me that I receive the Holy Ghost. What is he doing? Waiting on his circumcision. That's right. Hey, waiting on it. That's right. Glory to God. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you're waiting for internal circumcision. That's it. For the false skin to be removed off the heart by the Holy Ghost. For by one spirit. By how many? By one spirit. One. One spirit. One spirit. One spirit. Are we all baptized? Into one body. Into one body. Whether we be Jew. Jew. Or Gentile. Gentile. Whether we be bond. Bond. Or free. Or free. And have been all made to drink. Wait a minute. Amen. I told you everybody got to get the same thing. That's right. Been all made, made to, drink to drink into one spirit. Different spirits. By, into one spirit. Hear me, viewers? The same spirit that was in the church then, you got a drink of the same spirit that is in the church now. And have been all made to drink. All got to be made to do it. Into one Everybody spirit. Everybody got to do it. That's right. In the world. That's right. Got to drink Into of the same spirit. spirit. Hallelujah. Lord, thank God, if not, you're not in the same body. That's right. One church set up by one savior set up by one king demonstrated in the body of a prince over to God huh? it was demonstrated by using the body of a prince who was this prince the prince is Jesus himself you know a prince is lower than a king he was made a little lower than the angels that's why the spirit is not called prince because the spirit is the king and the prince inherits its authority from the king and after the king made the prince the prince referred back to the king and said all power that the king have is mine are you getting me all things that the father that the spirit that God have is mine. Hallelujah. I hope you can get this. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you go to the Bible, you got to stay there. Thank Don't you. bring me nothing outside of the Bible. I listen to you, but I, I'm listening and not listening. The moment you go outside the Bible, I don't want to hear nothing. Everything I want got to be in the Bible. Amen. It got to be in there because that word is going to judge creation. For by one spirit, by one spirit, are we all baptized? Glory oh, to God. Hear me, world. Hear this. By one spirit, all of you churches in the world got to have the same spirit that Jesus had. The same spirit that fell on the day of Pentecost. The same spirit the apostles had. For by one spirit. Lord, thank God, it's not a funny acting spirit. Oh no. When you say you got the Holy Ghost, you're saying you got God. Hallelujah. Are you listening? For by one spirit. By one spirit. Are we all baptized? Are we all baptized? Into one body. Into one church. Whether we be Jews. Whether you are Jew. Or Gentiles. Or Gentiles. Whether we be bond. Bond. Or free. Free. And have been all made to drink. And we have. 
all been made to drink into one spirit. Into one spirit. For the body is not one member. The body, is the church, not, is not one member. <laughs> Peter was in prison, but the church wasn't in prison. Peter was in prison. That's right. But the church wasn't in prison. No. One member of the church was in prison. That's right. Are you listening? For the body is not one member. For the body is not one member. Is not one member. But many. What? For the body is not one member, but many. Hallelujah. Now, you got to have more than one to be the church. Otherwise, in that, you are a member of the church. For as the body is one. Look at your physical body, you that are here, you that are listening in. I want to teach you what is God's church. God is church. Listen, God's church bear the title building. God's church bear the title holy people. God's church bear the title sheep. God said, my sheep will hear my voice and the stranger they will not follow. So how in the world can a member of the body agree with the stranger? That's right. That's right. God said, My sheep right. will hear my voice. My voice. My voice. And a stranger will not follow. Glory to God, they won't follow. Will not follow. Now, if you follow a stranger, right then you cease to be God's sheep. That's right. Because God's voice talks through the scripture. He said he make manifest his word through preaching. through preaching. So now if the word of God is preached through and by a preacher by the power of God that lie in the shepherd then the sheep will know God's voice. That's right. That's right. What is God's voice, Pastor Jennings? Bible. 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 That's right. Bible. That's right. Bible. That's right. Scripture. 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 That's right. Scripture. That's right. If it's not scripture, it's not God's voice. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Do you get what I'm telling you? First Corinthians chapter 12. Scripture is not God's voice. That's right. I don't care how much anointing you have or how much anointing you claim, what you say moved on you. If it contradicts Scripture, it's not God's voice. That's right. God said he make manifest his word through preaching. through preaching. And he declared the words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. Thank God so when I go to the Bible, I'm going into a lively place. That's right. Where the hallelujah. Thank God where the power of the spirit of God is. That's right. And so the word said the letter killer. But the spirit make it alive. alive. When I go into the letter without the spirit, I'm a dead man. Right. But if I go into the letter with the spirit, I can get life. That's right. That's right. For life come. That's right. Glory to God, if, if my lack of understanding and, and my respiratory, my understanding of respiratory can't comprehend the scriptures, I go to the Bible, thank God to get good therapy in my mind, and God open up my understanding and my respiratory of thought open up and I can breathe Bible right. That's right. Hallelujah. You men out here is trying to preach and exclude the Bible. It is the spirit that quickens. It's the Bible, which is the sayings of God, was good enough for all the prophets. You hear him say, the word of the Lord came to me. If the word of the Lord, hear me, hear me, family, hear me, hear me, good, was good enough for the prophets, was good enough for all the apostles, why do we feel like we need more outside of God's word? That's right. Nothing for the church but scripture. That's right. Nothing runs the church but scripture. That's right. Nothing governs the church but scripture. When it's not scripture, it's no good. No good. 
Now, because you can't see a thing, that doesn't mean it ain't scripture. That's right. It's like you folk that there's a man I meant to bring the book with me. He mailed it to the church. His last name is Evans. He wrote about a two or three hundred page book on me and got my name on the cover. A Trinitarian wrote a book. I meant to bring it so I can get over the air and show him and let him know I got it. And uh, if you want to get a hold of Pastor Jennings, uh, Mr. Evans, you can email or call the church and let's have this showdown on an international platform. He wrote a book up on me, calling me this and laying me out for preaching there's one God. Yes, I said. God is one. That's what I preach. That's right. I preach he have no partners. No partners. He have no rivals. He have no equals. You want to debate Pastor Jennings? I don't care how popular you are. You can choose the platform of your choice. I say there is no Bible that says there are three separate distinct persons in the Godhead. There is no Bible that says that Jesus is the second person of the Godhead. There is no Bible that says the Holy Ghost is the third person of the Godhead. But there is Bible that says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Hallelujah. How many gods it is a church? One. How many? One. How many lords? One. How many creators? One. How many saviors? One. How many king of righteousness? One. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know the truth of God is well known. Yes, sir. Anytime a scholar or somebody gonna write a whole book, <laughs> he got in there in the prefix how the Trinitarianism, it didn't start in Europe, but it is the fundamental basis of the Bible. And this new upstart named Pastor Jennings have revived the monotheism, one God movement. I ain't revived nothing. No. That lets me know the preaching got under his skin. We're having a revival, but the revival was going on since Jesus was here. We hold there is one God, one God, and there is no person with him. No. One God. I believe when Jesus was here, which was God manifest in the flesh, meant well, Master. Thou hast said the truth. The truth. There is one God. One God. Did that what it said? That's right. And none other, but He. But He. But He, not but they. Well, Master. Listen at this. In the book of Saint Mark, chapter twelve and verse thirty-two. I want to say to every Trinitarian that are watching, if you want Pastor Jennings that bad, just come on in here. I've been telling you hypocrite and weak things out there for the longest. Stop yelling about the truth of God on social media. I appreciate you writing a book and dedicated to me. I got it. I looked at it. So I'm going to throw it in the trash afterwards. <laughs> this is what I think of your Trinitarian belief. I say Trinitarian belief is of the devil. Of the devil. Three in one. Three what? That's right. Three what? That's right. Three persons? Read it. Read it. Church of God in Christ? Read it. Read it. Assemblies of God? Read it. Read it. Church of Pillar Ground and Truth? Read it. Read it. Churches of Christ? Read it. Where the Bible says there are three separate, distinct persons in the Godhead. Oh, God. You better give me the fifth chapter of the book of St. John. St. John. And uh, begin at verse 7 because this is where all the Trinitarians run to. Yes. Amen. This is, you thought you could hide there. Yes. But I'm going to strip that scripture from you, God knows. First John Listen at the Bible five. here. First John chapter 5 and verse 7. Listen at this. For there are three. There are three persons. For there are three. Three what? There are three. Three persons. For there are three. Three distinct persons. For there are three. There are three that bear record in heaven. What is it? The Father. Wait a minute. That's God. 
The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Follow me. He's the originator of all things. Right. He's the Father of creation because he made everything. Right. What else? The Word. The Word. That Word, which is God himself, he spoke the Word and brought that which was invisible and made it visible. He brought that which was unseen and gave it sight. And then the Word was made flesh. He created that flesh by the speaking power of his Word. He created the Word by the speaking power of his word. Let there be light. There was light. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. How did he do it? He spoke it into being. Let us make man. Someone said, you shot yourself in the foot. You said, us, you better give me Genesis, Genesis 1.26. 1, and then climb it, uh, climax it yes. with Genesis 1.27. Genesis. And then, and then go back to the book of Epistle of John. I want you to follow me real good. Genesis. I want this to be good for all you Trinitarians. Stop doing all that backroom talk. <laughs> Just come on out and swing like a man. That's right. Are you getting me? Genesis chapter you 1. You use the name of Pastor Genesis on your platform to bring viewers to your sight. I use the name of Jesus Christ to bring souls to heaven. All right. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. Genesis 1, 26. And God said, God said, let us make man, let us make man in our image. In our image. After our likeness. After our, our likeness. By our, you may ask, who was he talking to, Pastor Genesis? He was Catholic within himself. Within himself. It was nobody else with him. That's right. He was out there alone by himself with himself. Right. Verse 27. Genesis 1 and verse 27. What is it? So God. So G-O-D-S. So G-O-D. So G-O-D-S. So G-O-D. So God made man how? So God created man in his. If it's three distinct persons, which person did God make the man in the, in, in the image of? That's right. The Father, the Son, or the Holy Ghost? Which one? <laughs> which one? Which one? Which image did he make him after? That's right. The Father, the Son, or the Holy Ghost? The Father is higher than heaven and deeper than hell and broader than the sea and longer than the earth. The Holy Ghost can be in anybody, everybody, everywhere at the same time. That's right. The Son can only can be in one place at a time when he was walking here on the earth, flesh and blood. That's right. So now which one was made in God's image? So God created man. You out there think that the image of God was just Christ Jesus. Don't you know Adam wore God's image before God wore it? That's right. Huh? In fact, Adam's image was first. That's right. Jesus' image was later. That's Give right. me the fifth chapter of the book of the book of Romans, Romans chapter five. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not. After sinned. the similitude after of after Adam's similitude transgression, of Adam transgression, who is the figure? Who is what? Who is the figure? Who is what? Who is the figure? Who is Adam? Who is the figure? Of what? Of him that was to come. The was to come was Jesus, the second Adam. That's right. Adam wore God image long before Jesus wore it. Romans chapter 5 and verse 14. And what? Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Death reigned from Adam to death Moses. Death reigned from Adam to Moses. Even over them that had even not sinned. Even over them that had not sinned. After the similitude after of Adam's the transgression. Similitude, the similitude. After the similarity. Of Adam's transgression. Of Adam's transgression. Who is the figure of Adam? Adam was the figure. Of Was him. the shape. Was the form was the fashion of him. the image of him that was to come. That was to come. That was to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you listen to the old man. Thank God Adam wore God form before God wore. That's right. Amen. And then after Adam wore God form before God wore, God manifested himself in the flesh years later and then was called the second Adam. That's right. One brought sin in, the other came to take sin out. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Back in Genesis 1 and verse 27. What is it? So God created man. God created man. In his own image. In his own. He, own. His own. Own image. In the image in of the God. In the image of God. Created he him. All right, go back to the way you were. Back in 1 John chapter 5 and that verse 7. Listen at this. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Three. Three. Now, you can have several records recorded in City Hall about one person. That's right. Several records That's right. recorded in the files of the FBI. 
about one. That's right. You can have it recorded in the FBI that Williams is a murder, murderer, that's recorded. <laughs> An extortionist, that's recorded. A bank robber, that's recorded. That's recorded. A hoodoo worker, that's recorded. A computerized scam order, artist, that's recorded. Lord, pretty bad, Pastor. Plenty of records about the one devil. <laughs> not, not, not that you're the devil, you know. But many records. That's right. There are many records recorded in heaven. In heaven about the one God. For there are three that bear record in three heaven. Three that bear record. Three things that's recorded about him. In heaven. In heaven. The Father. He's creator. The Word. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Father. He carrying that title, Father. Father. That's a lot recorded about him being a father. Yes, it is. What well, he's the father of? Creation. That's right. What did he create it? Why, it's recorded he made the universe. That's right. It's recorded he made man. It's recorded by him all things consist. Have we not all one father? Have we not all, listen at this. Malachi chapter 2 and at verse 10. Have we not all two fathers? Have we not all one father? Have we not all three fathers? Have we not all one father? The Father is the true God. That's right. The Father is the King of righteousness. That's right. The Father is the true God. That's right. You ain't more right than the Heavenly Father. No. It ain't nobody in here or nobody in the world or nobody in the earth that can be the Heavenly Father but Him. But Him. Listen at this. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 10. Listen. Have we not all one Father? Have we not all one Father? Hath not one God? Hath not one God? Created us. Created who? Created us. This is after he said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. How many made man? Hath not one God created us? How many made man? Hath not one God created us? Let us make man after our image, after our likeness. How many made man? Hath not one God created us? Let us make man, let us make man, let us make man after our image, after our, our, our likeness. How many made man? Hath not one God created us? Have we not all one father? Hath not one God oh, created us? That is recorded. In heaven. Hallelujah. All of that is recorded. That's right. Just when did things become so difficult that you're so complex that God need assistance? That's right. I talked to one infidel years ago. He said, Jesus helped God created the heavens and the earth. So I, I just I just placated him. I said, uh, uh, the Bible said he stretched forth the heavens alone. alone. If Jesus helped God created the earth, where was Jesus at to help him create heavens alone? He said Jesus was on one end holding the heavens and God was on the other end holding the heavens. I said, oh, like you're making up a bed. He said, now you got it. <laughs> you dumb, ignorant, hell-bound thing. I am the Lord. Listen at the Bible. Word. Isaiah 44 and verse 24. I want the world to get this. Isaiah 44, 24. Here, everybody that go to a church that teach Trinity, get out of there. Leave it. You heard me say it before, and I say it again. Leave it. It doesn't matter if I sound harsh and sound mean. Get out of there. Get out of there. If Bible says Come out, out from, from among them, them and be separate. Save the Lord and touch not the unclean thing. When I believe a lie, I'm handling that which is unclean. That's right. When I'm worshiping wrong, I'm handling that which is unclean. Right. Well, Pastor Jennings, I want to uh, thank the pastor I used to be under. If that's what you want to do, that's your business. That's your but business. the Holy Ghost said, that's come it. out. Come out from among them. Come out. Come out. And I'm going to tell you what the Holy Ghost said. Come out from Amen. among them. Amen. Sit still and go to hell. But the Bible says, Come out from among them. From among them. And be Come separate. Come out from among them. Come out. Don't wait for compliments. Don't wait for permission. Don't wait to write a letter. Don't send an email. Don't send a text message. God said, Come, Come out. out. And if God said, Come out. Come out. The church going to say, Come out. Come out. Am I right, I said? Yes, sir.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had made a plan years ago. We're not changing for nobody. Nobody. No time. If God said do it, it got to be done. That's it. Hear me, world? That's it. Let me repeat myself. Go ahead. You don't have to write a letter to your pastor. That's optional. If you want to write a letter or tell him, look, I'm leaving, that's your business. If you're coming out of falsehood. Right. But when you come out of falsehood, God is making a way for you to escape. No sheep turn around and tell a shepherd, amen, I'm leaving the pasture. That's right. If you one of God's sheep Hallelujah. and hear God's voice, the moment the shepherd talk, you will obey. Go ahead. You will get moved. Go ahead. You got to go to God. Yes, you will. Hallelujah. My sheep. Come That's go. right. Will hear the voice. That's right. Yeah, the stranger. Will not follow. There's no confusion. No confusion. God said, come out. Come out. Then come out. That's it, brother. That's it. Come out. That's decent and in order. Yes, it is. Because the king of decency right. has spoken. Come out from among them. Listen. A good man, a good man steps is ordered by the Lord. That's right. The Lord said, come out. Come out. And if I'm a good man, order. 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 Good man step. Ordered by the is Lord. Ordered. The order said, come out. Come out. Order said, come out. Come out. That's what order said. Come out. A good man step. Uh, ordered by the Lord. Ordered. Who will tap him with that? Who, that's right. Don't ever tap him with God. Preach it, brother. God weighs perfect. God weighs yes. clean. God weighs pure. Come out from among don't them. Don't touch God's way. Don't compromise with it. No. And don't play with it. That's right. If God said it, we believe it. That's right. God said it, we believe it. God said it, we believe it. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. I'm declaring to the world. Go ahead, brother. The church by the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We're not changing. No. I mean this. No. We are set to our seal that God is true. That's right. And whatever God say Never in that you. book, we're going to die with it. Wherefore, come no out from change. among them. No bargain. No negotiation. There's no room That's right. for negotiation. Yes, That's right. God said it. God said it. I die on it. That's right. Hear what it said? Wherefore, come out from among them. 2 Corinthians 6 and you verse 17. This. You that are watching. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what church you're in. I don't care who's your pastor. No, no. If you're in a false church. Come out. What should you do? Come out from among them. If that church is teaching you there are three separate and distinct persons in the Godhead, what should you do? Come out from among them. I don't care how nice the pastor was. I don't care he helped you when you was down. He brought you some chicken when you was hungry. He gave you a lift home when you didn't have a ride. He put some chicken in your ice box. That's right. I don't care if he gave you a lift. That's right. That God of heaven spoke. Come out from among and them. God is not looking what a hypocrite does to a sheep. That's right. God said, my sheep. That's right. That means this. When God talk, Go ahead, you better move. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In the world, yes, sir. oh yes. When God talks, that's right. You better move. Got to move. Do you hear this? Wherefore, come out from among them. Come out. Come out from among them. And be ye separate. He said, be separate. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. And what? And touch not touch the unclean, not the unclean thing, thing. And I will receive you. I want to be received. And will be a father unto you. I ain't got no time to negotiate with you. No. 
That's right. I'm looking to be received by the Father. That's right. Huh? That's right. I don't even have to let a false prophet know why I'm leaving. No. Why? Because I want to be received. Received. Hey Amen. I don't have to argue with you in your false church yes, yes, about right. why do you got women preachers. That's when right. I, when I hear God's word, I suffer not a woman to preach, I'm going. Come on. I ain't going to argue with you. Yes, you baptized me, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, yes. and my understanding came up into the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. When the Father talked, I want to be received, received. so I'm going down in water and I'm coming out coming out that's right you preachers stop this bargaining go ahead brother we either the church or not that's right we either believe God way or we don't that's right are you listening wherefore come out from among them I'm not in the middle or nothing it is God's way or no way or no way this is has been our stand for over 40 years. That's right. It's God's way or no way. Or no way. Hear me, Lord. Wherefore, come out from among them. You come out of these churches. And be ye separate, saith the Lord. You don't have to Lord. email your pastor. Don't write your pastor. No, you, don't don't, have... you don't have to pat him on the back. You don't have to sit and negotiate with him because he may change your mind. That's right. You sit and talk to him, he may change your mind. That's right. Because you're already emotionally vulnerable looking at how many years you've been there. Right. You, and you're already, well, I know this is truth, but I look how long I've been here. I've been here 10 years, 20 years. The devil make you look at how long you've been there. So God got it in there Come out. like this to make you ignore That's how right. long you've been there. When my sheep hear my voice, hear God talk, obey it, and come out. Come out from among them. When it's preached like that, that don't give you time to get emotional. That's right. That's it don't right. give you time. You, you don't want nobody to change your mind. That's right. That preacher may offer you a position to keep you there. Yeah. Like Balak did Balaam. He offered him a position. Right. But Balak, Balaam said, if you fill this house right. with silver and, and gold. gold, I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord. That's right. No, don't waste your time. That's right. Talking to no preacher. Get up and get out. I'm out from among You're them. You're already vulnerable. Right. He may offer you credentials. Yeah. The next thing you know, you stay there five more years and die and go to hell. Right. He may offer you a title and you stay there 15 more years and you die and go to hell. Right. What do a prophet a man right. to lose the whole world? The whole world. Lose the soul. Right. Wherefore you come out the whole world? And you lose your soul. That's why God said, come out. Wherefore, come out from Wherefore, among them. You and sit there and start talking to Bishop. The Bishop said, Preach look, it, we've brother. been together for 15 years. And you leaving now? I, I give you, I make you an elder. And you say, well, that's right. I know the Bible is right. But you really were ordained me an elder, the devil using that to make you think about it. That's right. Don't think about it. That's right. Hear it, obey it. That's it. Hear it, obey it. That's it. Hear it, obey it. That's right. Preach it, brother. That's the wisdom that God used. Preach it, brother. Eliminate your views. That's it. Eliminate your feelings. Eliminate your ideas. Oh, yes. Let's do it the scriptural way. Wherefore, come out from among the them. Bible way the church have power. Yeah. Glory to God, the Holy Ghost will work in the church. Yeah. Because the church is determined to do it God's way. That's it. When you don't do it God's way, well, the church will be in a mess. But if you do it God's way, That's right. God will back up the church. That's right. Are you listening? Wherefore, come out from Hallelujah. among them. Glory to God. All right, go back to where you were, son. I was in Isaiah. Isaiah, come on 44, now. 44, verse 24. Isaiah 44, 24. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer. Thy Redeemer. And he that formed thee from the womb. He that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord. I, I am the Lord that maketh all things. Wait a minute. Adam was a thing. That's right. That made... Why much? I am the Lord that maketh all things. No, he had assistance. I am the Lord that maketh all things. How did he make the heavens? That stretch forth the heavens alone. No, 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 no. Somebody helped him. Jesus helped him. That stretched forth the heavens alone. The Holy Ghost helped him. That stretched forth the heavens alone. Amen. You know, this knowledge is precious. 
Yes, it is. You can't take for granted that everybody knows it's one. No. I'm getting thousands of emails every day. Thank you, Pastor Jennings, for letting God to use you. I used to be a Trinitarian. Yeah. How many thousands of emails I'm getting like this? I have so many thousands now. Many ex-Trinitarians. There's a whole lot of folk that's sitting here that was ex-Trinitarians. Right. Was taught about God the Father, God the Holy Ghost, and praying right. to three persons. Williams was one of them. Yes, I he was. He used to be an ex-Trinitarian. Yes, he ain't I know who to pray to. That's right. The Father, the Son, or the Holy Ghost. That's right. And God is not the author of confusion. Amen. If, All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. If there's three, which one answer your prayer? Which one answer your prayer? Which one is your savior? That's right. Who do you pray to for healing? Mm. Who wakes you up in the morning? Who's coming back for creation? That's right. Who made the heavens and the earth? That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking? Isaiah Which one of the three gave me the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues? <laughs> Which one of the three? Who am I filled with? Go ahead, brother. Who am I filled with? Go ahead. Am I filled with God, Jesus, or the Holy Ghost? Because Jesus said, I send the Holy Ghost in my, in name. my name. So who am I filled with? That's right. Jesus was baptized with the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. So who was he filled with? The Father, the Son, or the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost is God. That's right. And Jesus said, I send the comforter in my in name. In my name. Which one is it? Which one is it? Come on, you blind devil deceived Trinitarians. Hallelujah. I'll beat you into dust with Bible. That's right. Hey Amen. I do that. I want to say to all you millionaires that are out there going to some church that believe in three distinct persons of the Godhead, you're being deceived because you're rich. Yeah. Yeah, the preachers are using you out of your money like a pimp. Use a $2 whore. <laughs> Amen. That's why the preacher don't cry out against your wrong or cry out against your sin. You are joined these organizations and live together, not married. Go ahead. That's the second or third wife out there gambling, drinking, and partying. The preachers, the bishop of the church of God in Christ ain't going to say nothing against it at all. At as all. long as you give him that big tie check and that money. But when God make a preacher, Go the Bible says cry out. Cry out. Bear not to lift up the voice like a trumpet. a trumpet and show my people their transgression. Their transgression. And the house no. of Jacob, their sins. I don't care if you gave $10 million every second. I'm right. going to tell you what the word of God say Why you make it rain. That's right. You make it rain money, I'm going to make it rain Bible. That's right. That's right. What did he say, sir? Thus saith the Lord, thy Thus redeemer. Thus the Lord. Thy redeemer. Lord, thy God, thy redeemer. And he that formed thee from, from the womb. I am the Lord. I am. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. That maketh all that things. That made everything. That, that stretched up the heavens alone and spread abroad the earth. By myself. Go back to St. Uh, Epistle of John here. Yeah. Back in 1 John. Chapter. Chapter 5 and verse 7. What is it? For there are three that bear record in heaven. There are three. That bear record. In heaven. In heaven. The Father. That's God. The Word. That's God. And the Holy Ghost. Someone said the Word is not God. The Word is with God. Word Give me St. John, Saint John 1, chapter 1 and 1. I preach the Word is God. St. John chapter 1 and verse 1. And I also preach the Word was with God. That's right. Which simply means he's a God of his Word. That's all. Don't tell me there's someone else with him. No. I make you find the Bible that says there's another God with him. That's right. Listen, that's St. John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word. And the Word. Was with God was with God and the word was God the word the same thing that was with them was him was him he didn't say two words was with him no. and the word two words was with him no the word was with God I thank God for the truth of God that's it hey amen this thing is and the people that their sinners even gravitating to it by the hundreds grabbing it and putting it on TikTok and Instagram. I don't know how those things work. Amen. Sometime my media team used to call me and worry about is on that site, is on that site, and I just got to the conclusion to tell them don't bother nobody. 
<laughs> as long as the message is getting out there, don't bother nobody. That's right. Amen. God can use a sinner, and a sinner like the subject, and he take that subject and put it on there. Is truth still getting on there? That's right. Huh? That's right. And that truth going to judge the sinner. That's right. Glory to God, I ain't got time to run behind everybody. who got the truth of God telecast on their site? Just put it on there <laughs> and let it be preached. That's why I thank God uh, for Tony Harvin. I call him Tony the Hitman Harvin. Amen. He run that site. He blast the truth of God. And sometimes he have discussions. And brother, he have tied that discussion down. Let him know we're going to keep it all scriptural. Yeah. Amen. Ain't none of you fellas going to get out of pocket. And if they try to get out of pocket, I listen sometimes, Tony. God <laughs> bless your hard hitting heart. Amen. <laughs> sometimes, and listen. And sometimes men get out of pocket, Tony. Say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on back now. Come on back. And sometimes he he edited it. He hit my voice and say, liar. <laughs> Somebody say something contrary to the Bible. He hit my voice again. Liar. <laughs> amen. Somebody say something. Amen. He hit my voice and say, you're going to hell for that. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, amen. Yeah. So the word of God is out there. It's available. It's Viewers, out there. It's available. You don't have to stay in these man-made religions no more. You don't have to stay in none of them That's right. at all. Come out Come of out. your mega churches, your storefront churches, your bar. Every place, come out and save your soul. That's it. Jesus is coming. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, to God. Jesus is coming. That's right. Thank God the Bible says He's gonna present to Himself a glorious church. He ain't coming looking for it. Oh no. He's gonna present it, it to Himself. That's right. Go ahead, to God. Come on, son. Back in St. John chapter one and verse one. What is it? In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word, and the was, the word with was, God. was God. And the Word was God. The same thing that was with him was him. That's right. Nobody with him. No. Well, well who was he talking to? You say he was counseling within himself when he said, let us make man. That's right. That's Give right. Me Ephesians, Ephesians chapter, chapter one. 1 and at verse 11. Ephesians 1 11. I'm going to show you who God talking to. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 11. Yes. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance. We have obtained an inheritance. Being predestinated according Being predestinated to the purpose of him. According to the purpose of God. Who worketh all things. Who work everything. After the counsel of his own will. He counseled with someone else. After the counsel of his own will. The Lord counseled with himself. After the because, counsel. Because nobody can advise him. No. Nobody can instruct him. No. He counseled with himself. That's right. So when he came here in the flesh, that flesh was the Son of God, the Messiah, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, and utilized that flesh as an example or a pattern for everybody in the world to follow. That's right. And to the Bible say, uh, he left us an example that we should his follow steps. His, steps. his steps. He washed feet, we washed him. That's right. That's because right. we follow his, his steps. His steps. Follow his steps. That's right. I mean, one brother, he talked to me. He said, well, we don't wash feet now. I said, why not? He said, you don't read nowhere where the apostles wash feet. I said, let's go to the first apostle, Jesus. Jesus. And then I got the scripture and read one part. If I wash your feet, your feet. ye ought. To, to wash, wash one another's feet. One another's feet. I ask him one question. We, should we ought to do it? Ought to do it. He dropped his head and laughed and closed his Bible. He said, ain't nobody ever came to me that way. If I then your Lord and Master. Hear this. St. John chapter 13 and verse 14. If I then your Lord and Master. If I'm your Lord and Master. Have washed your feet. And I wash your feet. Ye also ought ye to wash. Ought to wash. One another's feet. Why? For I have given you an example. What should you do? That ye should do as I have done to you. You that don't believe in feet washing, should you do what he done? <laughs> That's right. Should you? Should you do what he done? He said you ought to do it. Yeah. And if he tell me I ought to do something, I ain't, I ain't gonna argue. No way. I ought to do it. Ought to wash. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. The police pull up next to me. Pull, pull over. Amen. I'm not going to give you a ticket this time, so you ought to slow down, or your <laughs> next ticket would be $10,000 fine. That's right. Next time he stop me over, it's going to be for driving too slow. <laughs> yes. 
That's right. ought to do it. Ye ought to wash one another's feet. Do you hear that? If I then, your Lord and Master, have ought washed your it. feet, ought to do it. That's right. Whatever Jesus said you ought to do. He left us an example that, that he should we follow should his steps. Follow his, steps. his steps. And he left us that example, then we ought to do That's right. what he say do. That's right. Huh? Amen. He made apostles, then they ought to be in the church now. That's right. He said, greater works than these shall you do because you I'm do. going back to the Father, That's right. meaning I'm going back to Spirit. So it ought to be greater works in the church now. He That's told right. his apostles that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. That ought to be preached now. That's right. He died and he came on back, amen, from the dead. That ought to be done when he come for the church. That's right. He's going to present unto himself the glorious the church. church. So in everything he done ought to be done. He called me master and Lord. Is and he your master and Lord? That's it. And if he your master and Lord, then you ought to do right. every example he left. That's right. Hear this. Ye call, in St. John 13 and verse 13, ye call me master and Lord, and ye say, well, for so I am. Yes. If I then your Lord and master have washed your feet, what should you do? ye also ought to wash one another's feet. Why, William? For I have given you an example. Look at the example he left. That's right. That's right. Look at his example he left. His example. He inherited God's name. Yep. I said he inherited God's name. That's right. Jesus said, I come in my Father's name. Being made so much better than Listen, the angels. He didn't come in the name of Joseph. Did no, that rule out Joseph being his pop? Listen at this. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 4. Yes. Being made so much better than the angels. Being made, talk about his flesh. Talk about the Son. The Son. Talk about the Messiah. That's right. Being made so much better than the angels. The reason why he was made better than the angels, because that nature of flesh and blood could suffer. That's right. Uh -huh. Being made so much better than the better angels. Better than the angels. As he hath by inheritance. As he hath by inheritance. Obtained a more excellent name than they. There was a big discussion on uh, Brother Harvin's platform because a former bishop preached that Jesus was put to death in the flesh. That's true. That's Bible. Bible. Quickened by the Spirit, that's true, that's Bible. Shed blood and water, that's true, that's Bible. that's Bible. He said, but when he died, he lost his name. That's not true because it's not Bible. That's not Bible. Now let's trail his name. Mm -hmm. I want to straighten out that error. I preach Jesus Christ. Listen, the name of the Lord is everlasting. Everlasting. There is no end to everlasting. No. Even when you die, your name don't die. That's right. Eh? That's right. I say when you die, your name don't die. In the book of Isaiah chapter 63. Come on, son. And verse real quick. Isaiah 63 and verse 16. Listen. Doubtless thou art our father. Yes. Though Abraham be ignorant of us. Ig Abraham is ignorant of us. And Israel acknowledge us not. Yes. Thou, O Lord, art our thou father. O oh Lord, Lord, art our Father. Art our Father. Our Redeemer. Our Redeemer. Thy name. Thy name. Is from everlasting. Now let's see how the Son of Man got his name. That's right. Amen. You better give me the first chapter, first chapter. of Hebrew. Hebrews. And then let's, let's a little bit while I got time, trail his name. When the angel came uh, right. to Mary, right. while he walked the earth, he got baptized. I want to take him to the cross and kill him there because <laughs> the right. Bible says they granted him a murderer. The Bible says they killed the prince of life. life. The Bible says he laid down his life. So I want to get the Bible to see where can I find where his name got missing at any time. That's right. Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 4. Hear this. Being made so much better than the angels. Being made better than the angels. As he has by inheritance. Now. As he had by inheritance. Obtained a more excellent name than they. When you say Jesus lost his name, you saying Jesus lost his inheritance. That's right. That's right. Mm. When you said the Son of God lost his name, you're saying the Son of God lost his inheritance. As he has by inheritance. As he has by inheritance. Obtained a more excellent name if than they. If he lost it, where did it go? Where did it go? And when did he get it back? How and where? That's right. Tell me. Tell me. 
Tell me when did he lose it and give me a Bible that says so. That's right. Tell me how he lost it and give me a Bible that says so. Tell me when he got it back. That's right. I box you in a corner with Bible. Yes. Amen. Now I don't the, believe nothing. Amen. Amen. If an angel come from heaven right now, he better bring what the scripture said. That's right. Amen. Glory to God of need be our question, Gabriel. If he brings something that ain't like the Bible. Hey, wait, wait, before you go back up, Gabe, where is that at? Where, where is that at? Because the Bible tells me that the angels desire to look into, look these, into things, these things. And if they desire to look into it, you don't have it. That's right. So where is it? <laughs> That's right. It's not given to angels. That's right. It's given to ministers whom he made flames of fire. Now in the book of St. Luke chapter 1. Did you see all this Bible? St. Luke chapter 1 and verse 31. All right, son, I want you to get this good now. And behold, thou shalt conceive home. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb and, and bring, bring forth, forth a son. son and shalt call his name Jesus. That's his name, Jesus. Now in the book of St. Luke chapter 2. He inherited the name Jesus. That's right. And he took on the title Christ. Christ. And the title Lord. That's right. Jesus is his name. Christ is his title. Because Jesus functioned in the power of Christ. That's right. That's right. Christ means anointing. So Jesus was anointed by the power or the spirit of Christ. That rock that followed them was Christ. That was Christ. And that rock was the spirit of God. That's right. Hear me good now. Now in the book of St. Luke chapter 2. What is it? And at verse 21. Come on, preachers, get this. And when eight days were accomplished, when eight days was accomplished for the circumcising of the child, for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus which was so named of the angel before, right. before he was conceived in the womb. Wait a minute. Before he was born, when, how long this name exists? Which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. If the name is everlasting, the name got to be here before conception. That's right. The name got to be here before conception. That's right. All right, let's go to the cross now, quickly. I, I, I All right, say, come on what you have, sir. St. John. All right, sir. St. John chapter 1. Yeah. And we're at verse 36. Follow me. And looking upon Jesus. Looking upon Jesus. As he walked. You better re get in the microphone. Face the microphone, son. I don't want, I don't, I don't want nobody <laughs> having an excuse for being dumb, blind, and say, I didn't get that. Give chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 1. We'll start at verse 35. Listen. Again, the next day after John stood. The preacher said that when Jesus died, he, the body lost his name. Right. I'm declaring that's an error. That's an error. That's not written nowhere. That's now, right. Listen at what Pastor Jen is about to tell you. Prophecy came to tell us what Jesus was going to do. Jesus came to fulfill what the prophet said he would do. Would do. The apostles came after Jesus to confirm unto us what was done. That's right. The prophets came to tell us. Jesus came to fulfill. The apostles came with confirmation. That's right. Which prophet prophesied about losing the name because they detailed to us what Jesus was going to do. Unto us a child is born that got his birth. Unto us a son is given that got his death. A rod shall come forth out of the stem of Jesse and the branch shall go out of the roots, got his birth. Right. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him in the spirit of power and might. Got the Holy Ghost coming on him. Atomizing. That's right. Every detail, the ransom him from the power of the grave. Oh, grave, where is thy sting? And uh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where, where, where is your victory? Your victory. Got him dying. Got him coming on back. That's hmm? right. That's right. Itemizing everything. Everything. Seed of a woman shall bruise the serpent head. Got him coming here, causing the devil a lot of trouble. That's right. Behold, your God will come. Hmm? Oh, yes. Open the eyes of the blind, deaf ears will see. Lame man will leap as a heart. Don't got no name lost yet. That's right. And that day should be one Lord in his name one. Name and one. it never said that one name gonna be lost or dropped off nowhere. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. 
prophets talk about what he would do. He, would do. he came here and manifest what they said he would do. He would do. And then it was confirmed unto us what he done. That's right. What prophet prophesied he going to lose his name when he got here in the flesh. When did he lose his name? The Bible says it. And reign one apostle that gave confirmation in that preaching that Jesus exists at any time with no name. That's right. That one said, well, where's that body of flesh and blood that, that had the name? The body don't exist, but they didn't touch the name. No. Hmm? No. The body of flesh and blood don't exist. No. I'm not dealing with the body of flesh and blood. No. I'm dealing with the name. That's it. Here, I can take it further. Enoch was translated. translated. Flesh and blood gone. Yeah. But the Bible says Enoch went in. That's right. But yet, he was translated. But Enoch went in. That's right. He lost his body, but he didn't lose his name. Lose his name. Huh? That's right. Oh, you get what I'm telling you? Now Come the, on, son. Now in the book of St. John, chapter 1. I want, I want to work good with the Bible. And you fellas that hear this, Tony, you play this over the air and let the callers come in. And Tony, listen now. Let, let me, and Tony, he used to be a boxer now. So I, he's a good boxer. I'm sure he is. And, but I, I'm his trainer in the spirit. Yes, Tony, man. this is what I want you to do. Let them talk and let them give every explanation they can give. Ask them three questions. What prophet prophesied the Messiah would lose his name? Give Bible chapter and verse. When did Jesus lose his name? Give Bible chapter and verse. What apostle confirmed unto us that Jesus at any time was nameless? Right. Not talking about a body of flesh and blood. We're talking about the name, the name that was here before the body. That's right. The name. That's right. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Strong tower. When did it stop being strong? Amen. Amen. That's error. That's error. That's running ahead of the spirit. That's, That's not right. revelation. No. That's error. No. I don't believe nothing. But what is written here? That's right. The Bible says whatsoever things are written for time, they're written for our learning. And you know, Jesus let us know, if you want to believe anything about me, anything about mm -hmm. me, search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. That's right. He that believeth on me as the scripture have said. He that believeth on me as the scripture have said. I want to see it as the scripture said that he lost his name any place, any time. Read it. That's right. If you read it, I believe it. That's it. If you talk, it don't mean nothing to me. No. Read it. Read it. Then I believe it. That's right. Otherwise than that, you will go to hell believing that lie. That's right. Come on, son. Now in the book of St. John, chapter 1, verses 35 that's and 36. That's why they hate Pastor Jennings, because we use the Bible to debunk everything that's not in the Bible. That's right. I debunk Michael and Gabriel together if they bring something that's not like the Bible. Amen. You let Gabriel come down here and say, you know, I talked to Jesus. He's a white man. Liar. That's a lie. <laughs> that's right. Where's that written, Gabriel? Where's that written? Where's that written? <laughs> Where's it written, Gabriel? That's right. Well, I came from God. All right, I came from God, Gabriel. I <laughs> came from God, and I'm looking to go to God. Everything right. in here came from God. That's right. When you come from a woman, you come from God, because God is responsible for you being there. That's right. Glory to God. Glory you to got God. to read quick with my time is gone and it's getting good to me. St. John chapter 1, verses 35 and 36. Follow me, viewers. Again, the next day after well, John stood. We're working on the Lord Jesus' name. That's right. Jesus' name. Did he ever lose it? No. No. It's an error. Amen. Hey, Amen. I want to ring through the heavens. <laughs> it is an apostle on the earth that Jesus chose that ever preached he lost his name. Not one. Not one. 
Listen. Now in the book of St. John, chapter 1, verses 35, 36, and 37. Listen at this. Again, the next day after John stood and two of his disciples. Yes. And looking upon Jesus. He looked down Jesus. As he walked. As he walked. He said, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the sacrifice of God. And the two disciples heard him speak. Yes. And they followed Jesus. We got Jesus walking around. Walking around. Still got his name attached to him. That's right. Flesh and blood. That's right. All right. Now in the book of St. John, chapter 19, and we'll start in verse 16. Yes. Then delivered he him therefore unto them to be crucified. Now, time to die. And they took Jesus. Wait a minute. Still got that name. That's right. Time to die. And they took Jesus. They took Jesus. And led him away. Dead what? And led him away. Led him away. Down in verse 18. All right. Where they crucified him. Where they crucified him. And two other with him on either side. And Jesus. And Jesus. In the midst. We got him on the cross. In, and Jesus in the midst. We got him there in the midst. Thief on one side. Another one on the other side. Another malefactor on the other side. Right. One on each side. Jesus there on the cross. That's right. He still got his name. Now in the book of St. John, chapter 19. Yes. And at verse 38. Yes. And after this, Joseph of Arimathea. After this, Joseph of Arimathea. Being a disciple of Jesus. Being a follower of Jesus. But secretly for fear of the Jews. Yes. Besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. Jesus was dead here. That's right. And Joseph wanted his body. That's right. But the dead body still had his name and no blood. Besought Pilate that he might take away the body. Joseph went to Pilate That's right. and asked for the body of who? Of Jesus. Who did he ask for, church? Jesus. Who did he ask for? Jesus. That's and right. he's dead. Dead. <laughs> That's right. But when they came to Jesus. And he's dead. That's right. And so that he was dead. Listen, 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 listen. Give chapter and verse. Now the book of St. John chapter 19 and verse 33. Says what? But when they came to Jesus. When they came to Jesus. And saw that he was dead already. And saw that he was dead already. already. They break not his legs. When did he lose his name? That's it. Hallelujah. He's dead. Dead. Pierced him in the side, out came blood and water. That's right. When did he lose his name? That's right. Come on, here, here, good. Now in the book of St. John, chapter 20. Get all this Bible, we're going to make it rain. Make it rain, that's eh? right, that's right. Make it rain. That's right. You used to throwing money around, now we're going to throw Bible to you. That's right. Hear this. St. John, chapter 20, and we're at verse 2. Look at this. Then she runneth and cometh to Simon Peter. Do, do you hear this? Amen. What is it? Uh, we'll start at verse 1. All right. The first day of the week. The first day of the week. Cometh Mar Mary Magdalene early while it was yet dark. Yes. Unto the sepulcher and seeth the stone. Yes. Take it away from the sepulcher. All right. Then she runneth and cometh to Simon Peter. And what? And to the other disciples. And to the other disciples. Whom Jesus loved. Whom Jesus loved. And saith unto him, They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulcher. They took him out of the sepulcher. And we knew not where they have laid him. Now in the book of St. John, chapter 20. And now we're at verse 15. That's what? Jesus saith unto her, woman. Jesus. Jesus. Now he's back. <laughs> now he's back. Haven't lost his name yet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's back. That's right. Not scrambling around in the grave trying to attach his name <laughs> onto him. No, no. Where is that body of flesh and blood? Amen. A body of flesh and blood don't exist. Right. But the name that was attached to that body, that name always exists. Always. The name was here before the body. That's right. That's right. Do you hear the Bible talking? Now in the book of St. John 20 and verse 15. Yes. Jesus said unto her, unto her woman. Jesus said unto her woman. Why weepest thou? What you crying Whom for? Whom seekest thou? What are you looking for? She supposing him to be the gardener said he, unto him, she sir. She thought he was the gardener. That let you know it was such a change she ain't recognized him. That's right. It was such a change there she ain't recognized him. She supposing. He went from terrestrial to celestial. That's right. From mortal to immortality. That's right. Spirit got in that body of flesh and bones and glory, glorified the whole thing. That's and right. made that thing just like the spirit. That's right. Listen. She supposing him to be the gardener saith unto him. You mistaking him for a gardener. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Go mistake the Savior for just a gardener. A gardener. Glory to God. 
Sir, if thou have borne him hence, uh -huh. tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Yes. Jesus saith unto her, Mary. Jesus said to uh, Mary, uh, Mary. She turned herself and saith unto him, Rabbi. Rabbi. Which is to say master. Uh -huh. Which is to say master. Master. Now, I'm at St. John chapter 20 and verse 19. All right. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, yes. when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, yes. came Jesus. I said, no. <laughs> if you don't accept this, you got to be a quadruple hypocrite. Quadruple. With all bad packs for hell. That's right. Accept the fact that's an error. That's an error. That your bishop told us an error. That's right. No such prophecy was given. He would lose a name. He never fulfilled the losing of a name. No. And the apostles never brought confirmation. He lost the name. I have to read Acts chapter 1 and verse 11. You, you have to read it? I have to read it. You have to read it? I have to Do read it. Do you have to read it? I have to well, read it. Well, you better read it. Acts chapter 1 and verse 11. What is it, sir? Which also said, ye men of Galilee. Ye men of Galilee. Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Why standing here gazing into heaven? The same Jesus. Oh, rest thank God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This same one, not another. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank God. Not another. Not another. This same Jesus, who you see going into heaven, is coming back in like manner. Hallelujah. Same one. Same Jesus. Not flesh and blood, but that glorified body. Hallelujah. He took a body in the heaven that never been there. Hallelujah. Since he was God, he never took a body and glorified it. No. Someone said he glorified Enoch. The Bible didn't say that. Enoch was totally translated. That's right. Spiritual and spirit are two different things. Two different things. You fellas can't tell the difference. No. Spiritual and spirit is two different things. Right. Because when he came to the disciples, he let them know, you're not looking at the spirit. No. The Bible speaks plain. They thought they seem a, a spirit. spirit. He said, but handle me. He let you know, I'm not spirit. It is I, myself. myself. But what happened, Pastor Jennings, when he was on the cross, they pierced him in his side. Out came blood and water. The only thing was up on the cross now was flesh and bones. The spirit came on out of that body. And when the spirit came out the body, the spirit went to the lower parts of the earth to preach to the spirits that are in prison. So those spirits that was in prison was there hearing the word of God. The flesh and bones, uh, Nicodemus, them pleaded for the body. No more blood. No more blood. Just flesh and bones. So while he's there three days and three nights, thank God, preaching the gospel, the spirit had to come, the same spirit that went down. His flesh and bones in the grave. When the time was done of the spirit preaching, the spirit that went down came and got in that same body, and that's how the body will roll the quickening spirit. The only thing that body consists of flesh and bones, and it exists by the power of the spirit. No more blood to make it move, now all spirit to make flesh and bones move. The spirit overshadowed it and glorified it, moved it from the natural and made it spiritual. Go ahead, man of God. Now here's a body of flesh and bones, a glorified body, not natural, living by the power of spirit, and can say, handle me. Handle me. And see. That's right. A spirit has don't not have flesh and bones. Flesh and bones. As you see me have. Like you see me have. That's plain. That's plain. That's right. The flesh and bones wasn't natural. No. Hallelujah. Give me Philippians. Philippians chapter 3. 3. And at verse 21. 21. Who shall change our vile body. Uh, how he going to make it. That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. I told you so. Hallelujah. He going to change it. Change our vile body. Our body of flesh and blood is vile. Vile. The thing that make it flesh, that make it vile, because we got a nature, 
of an Adamic nature that we inherited from birth. That's right. And you don't want nothing that's related to Adam that's right. into eternity. That's right. So this is why when the body was changed from terrestrial to celestial, that moved all the natural side of his flesh, right. and it was no more earthly, and he took a body into heaven that ain't never been there. Never been there. Since he was God, he never glorified a human being That's right. and let it be flesh and bones and make the whole thing glorious. Glorious. Who shall change our vile body? That it may be what? That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he oh, wait, is. Wait, wait, wait. According to the working? According to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things. Hold it. Notice that word, subdue. Subdue. <laughs> the body of flesh and bones yes. from being a natural dead body was subdued. Subdued. It was subdued from terrestrial and it took on celestial everything that made it a relative of the human race he subdued it that's right it was gone because right. nothing natural can be eternal that's right it was subdued subdued he took the whole thing over that's it that's what the bible said i show you a mystery that lets you know something's gonna happen that's not ordinary yeah we shall not all sleep but we shall be changed changed changed, changed. He left us an example that we should follow his steps. His steps. If he didn't change, then Mary would have recognized him right away. That's she right. How can you mistake Jesus for a gardener? A gardener. That's right. That's right. How you, how you going to mistake Jesus for a gardener? Amen. The change was so great she couldn't even recognize him. That's right. Until he opened his mouth. Yeah. Mary. Mary. Heard a voice. That's it. Heard a God. Heard a voice come out of him. That's right. And knew the voice. That's it. My sheep will know my voice. voice. They can't get the mystery of the Bible. No. My sheep will know my voice. That's right. That's right. Someone said, how, you, how she going to know the voice if they change? The same voice don't change. No. The spirit spoke out the flesh and blood. That's right. And the spirits were glorified that body. That's right. She knew the voice. She knew the voice. I saw she was there. Oh, Rabbi. Rabbi. Oh, it's you. <laughs> it's oh, you. you're not a gardener after all. <laughs> but yet he is a gardener. That's right. Because he planted all of us. Oh, yes. Huh? Those plants that my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Acts 2, 38, son. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, Charlotte. Go ahead, Pastor. Wonderful. <laughs> I haven't eaten nothing all day, but my God, man, I felt like I done had a full course meal. Wonderful, wonderful. Repent, then then Peter. Peter. Said to them, repent. This is what everybody got to do now. Everybody here, mm -hmm. everybody here that have not obeyed this. That's right. If you bow your head and raise your hand or join the church or by accept Jesus as your personal savior like you claim and send us prayer, all that rubbish that come out of hell. <laughs> That's right. The word of God says what? Acts 2 and verse 38, then Peter said unto them, repent. This is what God wants you to do, repent, be repent. sorry. Repent. And be baptized. Be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody watching and everybody listening in, come out of your churches and repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and come walk with the truth of God. That's Never good. mind what them on social media say. They hate this. They hate it. They don't like it. They can call me whatever they like. Amen. One body, somebody posted and got mad at me and said, you just like Trump. Psh, call it what you want. <laughs> I'd never be like Mr. Orange Man. <laughs> no. He got to repent and be baptized and get rid of all his wives. <laughs> That's right. And come on back to one or else die and go to hell. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of and you. And be baptized everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And you shall. Receive the gift of the Holy That's Ghost. That's the new birth. That's how you're born again. That's how you get in the church. Hallelujah. Born of the water and of the spirit. If you out there been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're not baptized. You're not saved. You got to do it like the Bible. That's it. Anybody here want to obey the word of God and be baptized today in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. You that are standing, go to the back. You that are standing, go to the back. 
We are fishing. We're still fishing. Amen. We're fishing, you know. Amen. And the net done broke years ago and could put the net back together and just keep breaking. I thank God for this. We are determined to steward right and stick with Bible. You know, every time me and Dan talk, uh, we respond back to other like we playing ping pong, ping pong ball. I said, damn, we determined to do it right. He said, do it right. I serve him back to him. Do it right. He served it back to me. He said, do it right. I serve it. We determined to do it right. Wonderful, wonderful. Whatever God say, that's that. It's that. And we won't let nobody change it. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. We turn the remaining of the service and the closing benediction to Elder Robinson of Jamaica. God, we thank God for the word. Let's pray. Great God and Father, Jesus Christ, we thank you for your goodness and we praise you for your mercy. Lord God, we thank you for the word that we did here. We thank you, oh God, for the word that continue to come unto us, Lord God. Father, we ask you to help us to have an obedient heart, Lord God, to submit to that which is written, Lord God, because in it we have life. Forgive us for all unrighteousness and blot out our transgressions. Help us to grow from strength to strength, Lord God, in your word, Lord God. Lord God, we ask you to strengthen us in weak areas and blot out our transgression, Lord. Help your people, Lord, that their eyes might be open and submit to your will, Lord God, that you might take us over. Oh God, help us, Lord God, that we might look to you from where our help comes. Remember, our brothers and sisters, Lord God, without thine Holy Spirit, have mercy on them, Lord God, and help them to reach out, Lord God, so that they might be placed in the body. Those that are outside, Oh, God, help them to come in before it's too late. Lord God, and to run unto you, Lord God. Help them to hear your voice, Lord God, as a sheep. And now you, and not to rebel, Lord God, in these closing days. We thank you for the one whom you have sent before, Lord God, to guide us in this way. I pray you strengthen him the more, Lord God. Keep him, Lord God, in your right hand that he might reflect your light. Help us as ministers, Lord God, to work together. Lord God, and to be faithful, Lord God, that when you come back, Lord God, for the church, we might be a part of the number that we can hear well done. Be with us, Lord God. Guide us and keep us. And the thing that we fail to ask of thee, we pray you grant unto us in your name, Jesus Christ, we pray, we say, amen. amen. God bless you all in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you.